You ready? Yeah. This is our main ingredients today. Chickpea. Welcome friends, welcome back or welcome for the very first time to our kitchen. Today we are making a healthy, quick and simple plant-based dinner. It's a soup, spoiler alert, and this soup is probably going to become, I would say, one of your favorites and you will definitely want to include it into your meal rotation if you have a meal rotation. We don't really have meal rotation. We just basically cook whatever is on hand. And today it happens to be chickpeas and therefore we are making a hummus soup. Have you ever had hummus soup? If you haven't, you're in for a treat because hummus soup is basically like eating a bowl of hummus, but nice and warm and comforting and it's, it's just delicious. So are you ready? Let's do it. We begin with some coconut oil that we put in a pan. If you wish to not use oil for your cooking, that's totally fine. And what you would do is just use either water or broth. That's an option. Once your oil is warm, you will add half a chopped onion. It doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, we'll be blending this soup so you can see that there's a nice big chunk of onion here. Not a big deal. And we'll just allow it to saute. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop carrots. So two carrots, whoopsies. I'm not peeling them because they are organic and they're from the farmer's market. And again, you do not have to be perfect with the chopping. I feel like many times people are intimidated by cooking because they feel like they, it needs to be perfect. You know, it, the size of the veggies needs to be perfect and the presentation has to be perfect. And I feel like that's a total BS. I feel like <laughs> if you are the type of person who enjoys making every single piece exactly the same and you get satisfaction from it, then absolutely go for it. Otherwise, I say just have fun because it is about the energy more than anything else. If you can put loving energy into your food, it will really show. Okay, so our onion is nice and translucent. So I'm going to turn the heat down a bit and we are going to add two cloves of garlic. We are ready for the next step. And the next step is turmeric. So I'm adding one teaspoon of turmeric. And I'm also going to add smoked paprika. Now, not everybody has smoked paprika at home, so if you have normal paprika, that will work fine too. But the smoked paprika just gives it like an extra mm, flavor. An extra what? Mmm, flavor. <laughs> add a touch of pepper. And if you find that this mixture is too dry, you can add a little bit of water to it. I think, and salt, yes. Just a little bit, we can always add more later. So I'm going to add a touch of water. Next is our imperfect carrot. And our main ingredient, which is chickpea. So this chickpea I cooked myself. So we just got some dry chickpea. It's about a cup of dry chickpea. It's very easy to cook your own chickpea rather than buying chickpea from the can. And if you are cooking your own chickpea, the only thing to remember is that you need to plan ahead because you will have to pre-soak your chickpea. So it takes about 24 hours, you pre-soak it with a little bit of salt and a water, make sure that there is enough water because the chickpea expands, and then you cook it, it takes about 
90 minutes to cook it the next day. So it takes a little bit of preparation and you know thinking ahead. So if you did not prepare for it, not a big deal, just use canned chickpea, making sure that you choose a canned chickpea which is BPA free, so the can is as healthy as possible. And then you need to rinse your chickpea as well. So put it through a strainer, run it through water until the water runs totally clear. There is no foaming, no bubbles happening, all right? Okay, all right, we are ready for the next step. Whoopsies. So here I have a homemade broth and I will be adding it in. Now, if you want the recipe for the homemade broth, it is on our website and we'll include it with this recipe as well for the hummus soup. And if you do not have homemade broth on hand, then you could use water as well that will work or you could use a sodium low sodium vegetable broth that you buy in the store there we go one more beautiful and this is really all the hard work that you need to do now you just let it cook for about 15 minutes so you're going to cover it up heat to about medium and let it do its thing. Moving on. Once the chickpea is cooked, well, the chickpea is cooked. Once the carrots are nice and soft, that's when you're ready to move on to the next step. So we'll scoop some of this. Careful, it's hot. All right, basically the whole content of this pan is gonna go into your blender. There we go. And adding more stuff. It would not be hummus soup without tahini. So let's put some tahini in. Make it nice and creamy. There we go. And of course, lemon. So starting with a lemon zest. I have another tip for you. <laughs> Lemons, try to buy them organic whenever possible and unvaxed. Because what happens is when they are transporting lemons from tropical places, they actually put a coat of wax on it and it's not necessarily an edible substance or something that you want in your body. Uh, you can usually find it on the package. They write it on the package if it does have bags. And if you're not sure, just soak the lemon in some salt, salty water for, you know, half an hour and it will get rid of some of it, not all of it, but some of it. It would be ideal if you could pick your own lemons from your tree in the backyard. Some of you probably can. Next is lemon juice. I'm going to start with half a lemon because this lemon is juicy. So start with less. You can always add some. And now let's bond it up. Let's check on the consistencies. <laughs> this is pretty Ooh. much a hummus type of consistency. Uh, some of you might enjoy it this thick, but um, I personally prefer when it is a little bit more liquidy. So I'm going to, is that even a word, liquidy? More liquid, more liquid, I think. So I'm going to add some broth into it and blend again. That's 
good. Mm, it could have used more lemon. Now would be the time to also add salt and pepper if you wish. So definitely more lemon. And it could use a touch more salt and pepper. soup. That's it. Now let's serve it. Hmm? How many servings is there? Oh, that's a good question. So I would say four side servings and like two to three full servings. So this one is, it's quite thick. You could definitely <coughs> make it less thick. Get creative. You know, use whatever you have on hand. Parsley is always nice. You could use maybe cilantro. We are using some pea shoots. They're pretty, aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. And sprouts. I'm not sure which ones are those. There's a mix of broccoli, mixed veg, and Ooh, what was the other one I got? Broccoli. Arugula. Alpha, alpha. alpha, alpha. All right. Arugula, arugula. Arugula. Okay, friends. Here you have it. Mm -hmm. A beautiful hummus soup. Honestly, ready in about 20 minutes. It's packed with protein, obviously, from the chickpea, healthy fats, from the tahini, tons of zinc, B vitamins. It's very nourishing and super satisfying. If you give this recipe a try, make sure that you let us know in the comments below. Hit the like button. For the full recipe, go to our blog, activevegetarian.com, and we'll see you soon in our kitchen, creating some magic.